Yo, what's going on guys? Shake it bake back for another late night pack opening. You'll probably see this midday Saturday because I got a lot of videos planned for the weekend. But Devin Booker tonight. Whoa, holy crap, man. I was editing up my Kobe gameplay while watching the Celtics who are killing the Suns, but Devin Booker was carrying them. I mean, keeping them at least at a respectable margin. I think they were only down like 20 to 10-ish, 15 at times, but man, he was carrying them. And then he had 23 in the third quarter and finished the game with 51 second half points, 70 total points. Yes, you're hearing me correctly. 70. It was incredible. They were feeding him. And of course, we got a moments card. We got a diamond card. He was get, be, just being fed, man, late game. They were intentionally fouling to keep the game going, but to also try and get this dude more points. And it was working. I'm kind of surprised with a 10-point game with 30 seconds left. They almost kind of gave up once he hit 70. They were like, all right, we're not going to intentionally foul. But it was working. They had cut like a 15-point lead down to 10. And that was all in the span of like 30 seconds. So I don't know why they didn't keep going. I guess they were happy with him at 70. If they had kept going, he probably could have had 74, 75. And he really did have actually 73. But they counted one of the baskets off because uh, what happened was there was a foul. And Marcus Smart actually was uh, pushing someone into him. And he just chucked up a three. And of course, he hit it. Now, we're not going to compare him to Pick Diamond Kobe. That's not fair. But we will compare him to the old Devin Booker because I do have that card. Old Devin Booker is pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of his shot release. It's a little too fast for me. Maybe I just need to practice it a little bit and I'd probably be good with him. But he obviously gets crazy boos. I thought they were going to give this card a pink diamond. And he does come with tireless scorer Hall of Fame, which is a... That's a huge badge. That is a absolutely nasty badge because um, I, I've used that on Harden. It's nasty. And even the tireless scorer gold is really good. He basically hits shots uh, like nothing, basically, when you have that. So you can see he's got a fadeaway a little bit at 88, which is kind of nice. He was hitting some crazy shots, man. Great driving layup. His draw foul becomes a 99. He had 20, I think, 6 free throws or 26 points off free throws. He had a lot of free throws. That's all I know. And, uh, yeah, he was getting to the line pretty much uh, almost every time. He used pump faking. He was just drawing contact and did a really good job of getting to the line. He was feasting, man. And there was even Twitter beef after the game between him and Jay Crowder and some other people all on Instagram. Kind of weird because he was posing for the Wilt Chamberlain 70 with the sign. And they were all posing in the locker room and stuff like that. Which is cool. They definitely should. 70 is impressive. But they did lose the game. Yeah. And as Isaiah Thomas says, they are playing for the lottery. But hey, man, I got to say props to Devin Booker. He was killing it. Definitely was. But they are obviously a rebuilding team. But 97 for the three ball. Absolutely crazy. 96, actually. 97 for the mid-range. But, um, yeah, just nasty stats. Those look insane, obviously. Huge boost. Massive boost from the freaking Amethyst, which you don't usually see for some of these moments cards. And this one is just way up. This is a 97 overall. I thought he was going to get a pink diamond. I really did. Like, I I'm actually shocked. Because, again, they gave a pink diamond to Kevin Love just because his name was Love and it was Valentine's Day. Like, <laughs> So, with 70 points, this is the 10th best game in NBA history by a... A scoring guard, uh, or just a score, I guess. But anyways, keep it going down. I wanted to make sure you guys could see all of them. Look at his steal. All the way up to 91. That's crazy. And his defense actually is uh, pretty damn solid because, I mean, they have to boost it somewhat or else he would not be even close to a uh, freaking diamond, man. Or at least a 97 overall. He gets a nice little bit of driving dunk, a little bit of contact dunk, a bit of speed, and uh, a bit more vertical all the way up to 90. Damn, yo. But this card is incredible. Comes with uh, seven badges too, which is nice because his other cards don't really come with badges. So, that is the Devin Booker. Couple up on the auction. Let's pull some packs, see if we can get him. Don't want to spend too much, but he is a 97 and is going to sell for a ton. Definitely uh, 200, 300K, so it would be nice to pull him. Or, I mean, DeMarcus Cousins. I still want to pull that Giannis. I never bought him, so I mean, we can still pull him out here. And DeMar DeRozan, too. Some guys I want to scoop, even though I'm kind of selling off cards. Oh, my goodness. Really? Look at this troll. We pulled Devin Booker on the first pack. No, it's just the silver Devin Booker. Man, they trolling with that. <laughs> that that got to be a sign. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe it is. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not really sure how many packs I'm going to pull. Not really trying to pull too many. Um, because, again, I'm, I just want to see if the luck is there. Because you never know. And, again, uh, yeah, I really don't need to be pulling packs. But I know y'all want to see me at least give it a shot. And y'all want to see that gameplay of him as well. But, I mean, we are definitely going to continue using that Kobe. He is definitely our starting shooter guard. So, Booker, I don't even know. We put him at the, the, the three? We put him off the bench, six man? I don't know, man. But, I mean, with a 97 overall and all those shooting starts, he probably might make the lineup for a little bit. I, my whole thing is I got to get down his release because it's definitely very, very quick. 
And I kind of like the slow releases like Durant and Kobe have. Not really slower, but they're just easier to time for me, I suppose. There's a lot of good moments cards. And again, as I said the other day, I'm not surprised by this. Keeping the content lit during the freaking VC sale. Because that's when they're making their money. So, yeah. Smart by them. We do get a ruby. Probably won't be anything too crazy. Ooh! The new d -Lo. Yo, that goes for a little bit. That still goes for 30k. That's probably the best ruby player we could have pulled. There we go, man. Even, like, the Durant. I don't think he goes for more than 10k. That's a nice pull right there. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice, man. That's some solid MT, and I already have that card, too. I'm probably gonna keep playing with him a little bit, and then probably sell him off, or uh, he'll, he'll probably be in some, a couple videos, because he's still got good value, man. And I want to sell him off while he's still got good value before... Uh, probably playoff time when he's a bit more common. But playoff is literally nine games away. So crazy. The Cavs did win tonight as well. So that gap between them and the Celtics still at one game, man. So crazy. I thought maybe they would cut it and that maybe we could squeeze a loss out of them tonight versus I think they were playing. Uh, I'm not sure. It was a good Eastern Conference team. Might have, been the, might have been the Hornets, but they did not get the win. It was the Cavaliers, of course. GG's, though. Good night of NBA basketball. Good night of college basketball, too. UCLA came out here. LeVar Ball and Lonzo Ball took the L. Backwards, so I got to flip it. There you go. But, um, yeah, that's kind of crazy. I'm, I, like, I, I've picked Kentucky. I've been rocking with Kentucky, and uh, I just like Kentucky. I don't know. I've, I've always been a Kentucky fan. I feel like once it comes tournament time they are so good and uh yeah usually up in them final fours they, they do a great job so i like them i like coach cal and they got some good talented players man with fox fox monk like that team is stacked fox at like 38 tonight like his draft stock went way up or 38 or 39 I'm not, I'm not sure which one it was but crazy game and that's against you know lonzo ball and ucla that's a good team like <laughs> so yeah man kentucky looked good they got the win. My bracket is actually still alive. I guess bracket update. I mean, I did lose out on Duke. I thought they were going to the finals. I think I had them in my championship game, but I had them losing to Kentucky. So it kind of got busted, but like, I still got Kentucky. So like, until Kentucky loses, my bracket's still pretty solid. And I'm still up uh, in first place in the group that uh, I did with like about 200 of you guys, I think, joined. It was kind of last minute, but still... We are uh, going strong with my March Madness, man. I'm enjoying it. I just enjoy watching the games, to be honest. Like, I don't really care about my bracket too much. It's not like we put money on it or anything. I might, as I said, I might give a prize out to the winner, though, if I can uh, find them, because that's the tough part. I don't know ESPN names and Twitter names and things like that. It's, it, it's confusing. But either way, these packs seem dookie right now. I'm not going to lie. We pulled the one D'Angelo, but besides that, man, we are uh, not pulling anything too crazy. <laughs> like, look at this, man. Lots of silver and gold players, but... They don't go for too much. Pretty much nothing, in fact. The bronze players go for more than them with that 500 MT, boy. Uh, one person in the comments was like, nice jacket. Another person was like, you've been wearing that for three videos. I've been wearing it all day. It's nice. It's cold. It's still the winter, man. It's supposed to be spring. Spring is supposed to have started, but I, I, Mother Nature didn't get the memo. It's still cold. But yeah, this is a nice little uh, Nike uh, fleece jacket. But it's kind of not fleece, though. It's like a windbreaker, but it's nice. It's keeping me warm because it is cold as ever for spring, man. It definitely is not warm up here. All right, let's do one more box, one more 20 box. I think that's going to be all, honestly, that I want to buy for today. It would be cool to pull a diamond. Like, that would be dope. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not trying to spend all this VC. I kind of wanted to save up for Tuesday or in case any other moments cards do come out this weekend. They've been, again, dropping those cards and content and buzzer beater packs. So I got a feeling there'll probably be a whole kinds of packs coming out this weekend. Just how it is. There's a sale. They want you buying VC. They want to use the, you know, that, that to the maximum and try and make that profit back. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that, uh, there is some kind of promo packs, something buzzer beaters, new, new moments players back on Sunday. So, I want to keep my VC and uh, just chill for a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I like opening packs when it's on sale, man. That's nice and cheap. Ben Simmons right there. I would say, like, I, I haven't seen too much of Lonzo Ball. But from what I've seen, it kind of reminds me of Ben Simmons. But his shot is a bit better. I mean, both just really big players. Both probably trying to play some sort of point guard. Lonzo probably definitely going to play the point guard. But I'm not sure about Ben Simmons. Is he going to be a one guard? Or is he going to be playing the four? And they're just kind of using him as the one? Like, they, they definitely should try something like that out in Philly. I don't know. They might as well. I mean, Milwaukee's tried it with freaking Antetokounmpo. And he's played a little bit at one guard for a little bit. So I'm not surprised if they, if they try something like that. But um, it will be interesting to see where the draft order shakes up between these last, like, 10 games if uh, teams are really tanking hard to try and get a, a lower spot in the lottery because the lottery is 
Man, that thing is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Like, even though the Celtics have the best odds, I am still so worried because they have never won the lottery. Never. And they've had some pretty good opportunities to do so in some pretty critical years. The Duncan year. And that one is, uh, yeah, that one's disappointing. So imagine how lit Tim Duncan would have been on the Celtics, man. If he had, uh, you know, piled out to be Tim Duncan. You never know what could happen with the NBA. But that would have been crazy. So, and they just got, they got screwed because they had the best odds that year and still did not get the top pick. I think they fell to like four or something. And I'm worried that's going to happen again this year. But uh, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of good, talented players as you're coming out of college. So that is the one good thing about that that uh, is kind of nice. Scott Labassi right there. He's been actually a pretty solid player recently. And he was one of those guys who coming into, uh, what's it called, coming out of high school, he looked like a number one overall pick. And the Kings actually got him a bit lower than that. So that's kind of nice because... Uh, He's definitely pretty talented and looking pretty nice. He had a nice game. It was the first rookie, I think, to drop 30 this year. I mean, that's pretty impressive. That's definitely something. But, uh, man, these packs, definitely not something right now. Jabari Parker right there. The Bucks still battling, trying to make the playoffs. We got another Ruby. Could this be another D'Lo? I mean, <laughs> we're not getting any amethyst, but, oh, okay. Carl Anthony Towns, I don't think he goes for much. Again, the only ones that go for anything are, like, D'Lo and probably Brooke Lopez because he's brand new. But then again... I bought him for 10k on the first day, so he might not go for anything either, but I know D'Angelo does go for a bunch just because it's D'Lo. I mean, Laker fans love him. He's hyped up, and he's got some really nice stats. Like, he might be one of the best Ruby cards in the game. He is nasty. Doing some flip balls here. Not feeling these packs. They're just not feeling fire for me. Again, a couple people had some fire. I saw some fire pulls on Twitter. But, um, man, I'm just not getting anything, man. Do get a Cousins, but not from the Pelicans. Not a Diamond. And, yeah, I'm guessing that uh, Ruby pull was probably our only good pull in this box. We're going to end it on that probably. Ah, man. If you guys do want to see some Devin Booker gameplay, be sure to leave a like as we get another Ruby here. Kind of ending off on a nice little hot streak. Another D-Lo? Ooh, Isaiah Thomas. That is a no-go. He probably goes for nothing compared to the uh, some of these Rubies, man. But, yeah, he, he, he didn't really have crazy value ever in this game just because he's small. And a lot of people don't like to use small guards. Wow. Look at this. Another one in the same spot. Is this Isaiah too? That would have been funny. We got Eric Bledsoe. Not a bad ruby, but don't go for too much. We did get four rubies in that box, I think. Quick little pack opening. Nothing too crazy. I mean, that was 40 packs, but we did get the D'Angelo Russell. I do want to check on his price. What is it going for? Do, like, do we get a nice little sum of uh, cha-ching here? What do we do? We do? I mean, last I checked, it was like 30k, but I don't know. The market on 2k be so fluctuating. Wow, down to 20. 18, damn. I thought it was a bit more than that. Still a nice little number. Probably the best ruby out there. But still, um, not as much as I thought it'd go for. 18K, that's good enough, though. But I hope you guys did enjoy the quick video. I'll try and pick up that Booker. Obviously, I got to sell some cards. I've been kind of slacking on it. I'm not in a rush, man. Those Ruby, the, most of the moment cards don't go for too much anyways. But I have a lot of cards to sell up in the auctions. I did have a couple of things sell for me, but uh, nothing too valuable. Hey, that crappy Paul Pierce I bought back, I sold them back for nothing. But that is going to be the video, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Peace.